Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when For the King 2 game is not loading or it is stuck on loading on your computer. Then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, try to launch the game. Still you're facing the problem. The next step is to rename this DLL file. Now for this, go to the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now open this for the king to data folder. Now open plugins folder. Now open x86 underscore 64 folder. Now over here you can see this lib underscore burst underscore generated DLL file. Now if you have this DLL file, you can make changes. If you don't have this DLL file, then you can skip this step. So if you don't have it, you don't need to perform this step. If you have this file, make a right click and then click on rename and before dot DLL, you can just name it as you can put any letter over here, A, B, C, just rename it. So rename this file and then launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now, if something wrong happens, you can always, uh, you know, revert it back. So if something wrong happens, you can always revert it back and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to delete the save game files now before you delete the save game files let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress so you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the save game files to delete the save game files open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder now if you don't see app data over here on the top click on view and then select show and then put a check on hidden items and you should be able to see app data if you have windows 10 somewhere over here you will find the view option click on view then somewhere over here you will find the hidden items box put a check on the box and then open app data folder now open the local low folder now over here you can see iron oak games folder so this is the you can open this folder or you can simply make a right click on this iron oak games and then click on delete now once you delete it now try to launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now over here you can see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then put a check over here which says run this program as an administrator click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from the game from the steam you can launch the game from the game installation folder again you are facing the problem in that case you can select properties and this time put a check on disable full screen optimization click on apply click on ok and then again make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time put a check over here and then select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok and then launch the game you can even try windows 7 over here and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game but still you're facing the problem in that case you can uncheck all the boxes from here and follow the next step so if this is not working you can uncheck everything and then click on ok and then launch the game uh, try the next step now the next step is to clear steam download cache and restart your computer now for this you can go to steam click on settings go to download tabs and then click on clear cache and then click on confirm your system your steam may restart and after that you can try to launch the game next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now over here select the right product type and then select right product series so whichever product series you have select your product series and then select your graphic card so make sure that you select your graphic card over here now if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and then click on start search and then scroll down the latest geforce game ready driver right now is driver version 546.01 this is the studio one this is geforce game ready driver you have to install this one and the latest is 546.02 now click on get download now click on download now and once this download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next 
and let the installation complete and after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folders open the steam apps folder open the common folder open the for the king 2 folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security now click on windows security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access now click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browse all apps again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder Select the game exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top, click on allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file, now click on open, now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now once the game is added, now you can click on OK and then launch the game. Now the next step is to try these in launch option. So you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash dx11 first of all you can try this and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can type in dash d3 d11 and then check you can now you can try to launch the game if that does not work you can type in dash window space dash d3 d11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work the last step is to type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check if nothing works then you can remove this you can clear this and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game file make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update now over here click on check for update and then click on install and once this is installed now you can restart your computer make sure that all the updates are installed over here now restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disconnect additional controller connected to the computer if you have any external devices connected to the computer which you are not using disconnect these devices also disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also if you have overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in geforce experience turn it off so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner river tuner or any kind of overclocking application do not overclock and close overclocking application and then check also if you have any third party services and application running close it make sure only the steam and the game is running the rest close everything including all your browsers now also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on option disable all 
in my op in my case the option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all click on apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart you can be and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and then run this exe file click on repair if you see the repair option if you see the install option click on install in my case it is already installed so it's telling me no action was taken as your system reboot is required so in my case i have already installed it's telling me to restart my computer so please ignore the error message now download x64 you have to download both x86 and x64 and again run this exe file Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. Now, after this, once both are installed, you will see a restart option. Make sure that you restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to try window mode and lower down graphics settings. So, if you are able to launch the game, launch the game and then switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. So, launch the game first. So, go to settings and then go to display and now over here if this is set to borderless full screen or if it is set to full screen uh, if this is set to full screen you can try borderless full screen and then check you can even switch to window mode so switch to window mode and then check the performance now if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down mode now vsync if this is on you can turn it off and then check now you can also limit the fps at 144 or 120 or even 60 now save it 
now again go to settings and then go to graphics over here now if quality preset is set to high you can set it to medium you can even go for low quality so you can try medium or you can go for low and now save the settings and then check the performance now next step is to update your system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available now in case of laptop if you have a laptop make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you are updating the system bios now during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. Now after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall the game. If nothing is working, you can uninstall and reinstall the game. So make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then re reinstall the game to SSD. So if you have SSD, Try installing the game to different drive or SSD drive and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.